The pressure I put on myself trapped me inside a spiraling world downwards, locked up in the confinements of my skull, running circles in my mind. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Also, welcome to the seventh week of drawing a random tarot card in random art style. So we are drawing, of course, one art style from this tombola and a card from this tarot card deck. All right, to the overarching theme of last week, we had symbolism that we drew together. And for Marion's card, she had the card Seven Swords and she represented the seven swords as seven scorpions. In the seven swords, she also tried to portray treason and cunning. So this is where her card comes in very fitting. I had the card Knight of Swords, and it was a bit of a stretch from the interpretation wise because I was only picking out the aspect of aggression to depict. And as it fit in with symbolism, I added a seductive lady. Uh, with her hidden sword, so that both our cards actually went in the same direction of seduction and treason and cunning, but both with a slightly different aspect of that. Now coming to this week's project, we have the art style Cubism, and I had the card the Page of Swords. The card I picked this week is the Page of Swords. It is about youth and pride, arrogance, and the feeling of being undefeated and undefeatable. The corresponding element is air, and off he flies, a young lad into his dreams and illusions and vanity. I was inspired by a dancer that I saw recently, elegant and gravity-defying, with his dress ruffling weightlessly around him. He was totally engrossed in the dance and captivated by his own grace and beauty. I realize that this ease is something that I have been lacking the past weeks, bogged down by tasks and responsibilities, even by things I thought I did to recharge. Additionally, to the lack of energy comes my perfectionism, the greatest strength and the greatest weakness. I felt I set the bar too high, into such heights I couldn't reach. And this also applied to the art project. I aim for perfection, but fully knowing I only have the evenings to paint. The pressure I put on myself trapped me inside a spiraling world downwards, locked up in the confinements of my skull, running circles in my mind. But most importantly, forgetting that I had the choice to leave and soar the skies. I can be kind, but it isn't easy to be to oneself. I had to recall and recall again that we started this project to learn. We wanted to learn to put more thoughts into our artworks, to learn about art history and to learn from one another. Putting those thoughts out of the mind and out into a conversation helps to reflect. The pressure would still be there, lingering at the edges of consciousness, but it wouldn't be all that you see and all that you feel. You can drive a beaming ray into the dense fog, lifting it so much around yourself that you could move again and you couldn't float again. I believe that one advances faster by trying out all the different things and mastering one single aspect of their work. I had to restrain myself from starting this piece all over again when I realized I didn't like how it looked. But this is what I drew in the limited time that we set. We have to overcome perfectionism again and again, make mistakes and learn from them, and already tackle the next challenge on the way. May this be a kind reminder to you too. So now that you have seen the whole process and you've seen the whole car, maybe just write in the comments below what you think about it. And yeah, I can take it. 
This episode is coming out just before Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas. If you were wondering, by the way, why I have this nice decoration, it's because I just lack Christmas stuff. So make do with this, please. Last but not least, next week, there's gonna be another type of video up on the channel. It's gonna feature my sister. <laughs> Bye.